Greetings. Excuse me, I have to turn this off. Oops, I was reading about Shungite. I have a little box next to me on my little couch where I read. This My couch is kind of like my, um, I don't know, it's my surfboard <laughs> for surfing through the ethers, through the elements, through time and space. Anyway, I have this little box and it's, it became a receptacle for stones that I picked up. I have a little um, table in my, my living room and it, I don't call it an altar anymore. I, call, I, I, I don't call it an altar because I don't, I don't um, participate in sacrifice. Altars are where things are sacrificed. And I am not keeping that energy alive in my life any longer. I mean, it's it's definitely a process when you want to move from one way into another. It's basically like moving from one dimension to another. It takes time and it takes diligence and it takes patience and it takes forgiveness. I can tend to be a perfectionist toward myself and therefore toward others and I am learning to relax and live my life and stay in my own lane and do me and this is something that I never learned before and it's I'm I'm completely and totally thrilled I'm happy about it I'm happy to finally get to pay attention to myself you know I learned as did many of the beings on this on this beautiful planet that to love to serve God is to serve others and while I don't disagree with that premise or that idea you really have to you really have to serve yourself before it can be genuine and authentic. You have to. You have to serve yourself. You have to love yourself. You have to appreciate yourself. You have to give all of the things that you did not receive growing up to yourself. And you contain all of these things. So you have every, you have every, what's the word? every um you have the license to do so it's all within you everything love acceptance adoration peace Hi. hello come on up so you it's all within when they say that believe it <laughs> and this is what i'm working with within myself right now is staying focused on my connection with source because it feeds me it nourishes me it gives me everything I need I do not lack I do not want for anything and I do not have to go to another and ask them to provide it which has been my way and then you know when that other doesn't provide it or when they provide it in a way that doesn't suit me then I feel like I don't know resentful or not loved not cared about abandoned all those things all those feelings that just make you feel yucky inside so this is my this is these are my lessons and I'm willingly learning them I'm excitedly learning them I'm over the moon about learning them I'm ready you know that's the thing is when you're ready you go because it's everything that you need is going to be presented to you so it's fantastic so today I picked up a piece of shungite, which I'll show you because it's cool. This is a shungite sphere, sphere that I got from a person in Russia. 
No, not from Russia. No, I got this Shungai bracelet, the one, the very first one by my hand. I got that from a woman in Russia. This Shungai spear I purchased from a gorgeous woman named Michelle, and she owns a company called Crystallography Gems. Crystallography Gems, I'm pretty sure that's what her company's come. She's based in Seattle. And she does a sale on Facebook, if you have a Facebook. If not, oh well. I just looked up her website and emailed her about a couple things since I got kicked out of, of Facebook. So anyway, the, I, I purchased some things from Stones from her before I got kicked off of Instagram. Because that's where I used to go to her sales. And I got this. And... I got a bunch of other stuff too, but um, I just read about Shungai. I always thought it was just sort of this dull ass stone for keeping EMFs off of you. And I have a Shungai plate on my phones, on my devices. I mean, I don't have a phone, but I have two devices. I have two iPods. One is getting ready to croak. And so I decided, hey, I'm going to look up Shungai today. And lo and behold, as my mother used to say, Shungai clears your energy body down to the men. Oh. <laughs> I'm so excited that I'm like <laughs> down to the molecular. That's that's a fun word. <laughs> down to the molecular level, it clears the physical body down to the molecular level, preparing it for the brilliant light that is coming into the planet now. Wow, that's so fantastic. It says there's a lot of other things that I read about it. There's a really wonderful book called The Book of Stones, and there are two versions. There's two, um, yeah, versions. Get the latest version because it has 76 more stones than the original version. I got the latest version at the library. I might get it. I don't know. We'll see. So. It's so amazing that when once you once you begin to trust source and trust spirit, trust the universe, once you begin to just put put everything into that pile, like you just go, okay, I'm doing it, all of it, every bit of it. You begin to receive guidance. And miracles. Miracles are all around us. And today was a day that I appreciated a miracle, which is what I saw as a miracle. Okay, so it's been snowing here, and now there's still a ton of snow, a foot of snow around, but there's rain coming down and it's warming up. It's like over 32 all day, so it, the snow's leaving, and yeah, it's sad, but today I looked out my window and I saw a robin, a big fat robin. And then a little bit later, I went outside and looked out the door just to see what was shaking. And there, my whole front yard was full of robins. I'm like, wow. And I was thinking, gosh, what do you feed robins? I mean, they don't come and eat out of the bird feeder. And then I realized robins eat, they eat meat. <laughs> robins eat worms. So dang hardcore <laughs> it's just weird they're, they're big they're, they're red breasts they're so fat and round so I don't know I just sort of I was like wow robins are back you know it was just so exciting to me so yes Shungai I'm finding out today that it's the perfect stone for me and it's really fun to use stones and gems and crystals as a, as a healing modality. I was thinking about this the other day that, you know, humans, we humans truly don't need, we don't need any, anything. We don't need a stone. We don't need um, a book. We don't need, uh, what else? We don't need a card, you know, a, a card, 
We don't need cards. We don't need... Mm, we don't need things, spiritual tools. We don't really need them because we can produce the same effect without without it through our um, through our imagination, through our mind, through our third eye, through our um, what's it called? I can't think of it. The other gland that's right here, the master gland. Can't think of it. We don't need that stuff, but it helps. And it makes the jo journey more joyful to have a beautiful stone, a beautiful item that came from Gaia that's, that was handcrafted by another, by a human. Somebody had to carve this thing into this almost, it's pretty lumpy, but it's round. It's, I mean, it's a sphere. So it's great to have these touchstones. It's great to have an oracle deck or to learn the tarot and astrology to to guide us and to, to bolster us on our journey, to give us signs, part of what, what how the universe gives us signs, you know? Open, you can open to lots and lots of modalities. And I believe it, at this time in, in human life, it is very crucial and important to ask for assistance when using tools. Ask for guidance and assistance from spirit, from source, to be, to be staying in, in alignment while you are going outside of yourself for, for these signs. Stay in alignment, stay connected with source so that you will receive the highest energy and the highest frequency from from everything really from the world from your food from your communications with others from your sleep from your from your time from your physical experience when you when you're aligned with source you will receive the highest the highest energy, the highest vibration from, from life, from the th third dimension. It's like, it's like the fourth dimension where you're combining, you know, you're leaving the third, entering the fourth, using the springboard of the third to eventually ascend into the fifth. So I, I don't disdain Gaia. I don't have disdain for Gaia. I don't have loathing for the earth. I, I don't. There's certain things that I read in the Holy Bible that I do not resonate with. And I don't, I treat the Bible as any other wisdom, wisdom literature. I take what I, what resonates and I discard the rest. A lot of times when I read the Bible, it pisses me off. You know, it triggers me because I don't, I don't agree with some of the things that I read in there and some of the the hard core like directives and rules and laws and you know the people that wrote the Bible were people so you know take what take what take what gives you juice and just say bye bye to the rest don't judge we don't need to judge it you know I don't need to get pissed off and annoyed when I read the Bible I can just say, well, thank you for sharing. That doesn't resonate with me, and I don't, I will not adhere, adhere to that. Today I was writing, and came across the, the 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 Bible verse from the Psalms came into my mind let the word may the word be a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path that came into my head I forget exactly what it was referring to but I pay attention now when those kinds of things pop into my head so I looked up I looked up the verse I didn't know it was from the Psalms when I when it popped into my head and when I saw it was from the Psalms it made me happy 
my maternal grandmother was was a she loved the Psalms. She loved she loved Jesus. She loved Yeshua. Anyway, that's that's not what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but it was cool to see it was from the Psalms. It says, you know, and so I looked up the word. May the word be a light unto your feet and a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. Um, and the word, word has many definitions, many connotations. But the one, the first, the first one, the old English meaning was promise. You know, so what is the promise? question I hope everybody's doing well I hope you're staying close to your heart Staying connected to all that is. I hope you're sitting down and being still and listening. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for being here today with me. I'm sending you love and good vibes. <laughs> Peace.